Baby! Carol! Have her come here real quick. Why? Because I'm curious. What dinosaur is that? It's supposed to be a T Rex. Here? Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> okay. That's a T Rex. Alright. That's a pterodactyl. Alright. I'm done. You can go now. <laughs> All right. Oh, God damn it. What's up, guys, and welcome back to my channel where I talk and do everything pinball. So if that sounds interesting to you, then hit that subscribe button down below. So first things first, let's just go ahead and get this out of the way. Uh, my previous video, which goes over the pictures that were leaked recently, um, evidently I don't know what a T-Rex looks like. So that is, uh, that's what I can gather from the pictures. I mean, granted, the pictures weren't the best, but... I'm guessing I just don't know what the hell a Tam T Rex looks like. So, mistakenly, I didn't know what to call it. But in fact, it was a T Rex. And whoever <laughs> uh, basically designed the T Rex to go in the back of this machine, I apologize for <laughs> not recognizing what species uh, it was. With that being said, let's jump right into the reveal trailer that Stern released today, showing off the gameplay for their pro and premium models. Now, I'm willing to bet that anybody that's watching this video has already seen the trailer for it, but I'm going to play it anyways, just in case this is, in fact, your first time to see it. But we'll play it, and then we're going to go through this and pinpoint some things that maybe you already did notice, or you did notice something that I'm pretty sure no one has noticed, and we'll discuss whether or not we should be getting this game. Okay, so there is the short, like, 40-second video that Stern has released. So let's go through the beginning and discuss what it is we see. I'm going to turn the volume down on this because we've already heard it once. So let's start from the beginning. So first off, if we're going to discuss the actual video of what the game is going to show us on the LCD display, this is the only thing that we could talk about, and that is this scene right here. That's it. That's essentially all we get. Now we get a little bit up here in the far corner right here. I'm not sure if I can get any other kind of viewpoint from there, but it looks like all we're getting right there is probably some destinations on the map and the score. But yeah, I think that's the only time that we're going to get any kind of idea of what the, the GUI is going to look like. And um, so that's all we got to go on on that. So from so from if you want to just judge by what we've been shown so far, let's rewind back a little bit. I mean, doesn't look too bad. I'm trying to see if there's any kind of waves in the water at all, but I can't really tell. Let's try that again. Yeah, I can't really tell. I don't, I don't think the water is actually showing waves or anything. I don't think it needs to be that artistic. So I'm not putting anything negative on it I was just going to give it extra props if it was that artistic but uh so that's all we've got to go on right there on the display and I'm not sure if that is either due to um I don't know why they would only show us that much honestly I, I, I'm pretty sure that any other releases we've seen more that the display can do so this is actually a little curious to me of why they are only showing so little of that so moving on Let's talk about the artwork for this cabinet for their pro model. 
Now, I've already discussed a little bit in my previous video when it comes to just the picture leaks that I'm not exactly excited about the artwork. The, it doesn't suck. I mean, let me just say that it doesn't suck. So, and obviously I'm not, I'm not saying that I could do anything nowhere near what the artist has done for this. I mean, it's not bad art. It's just not at first glance immediately go, wow, art. So that is not to say that it's not good, but it does, it's not an immediate attraction to me. And that's the first thing you notice about a pinball machine when walking up on it or seeing it in a video. And the first thing they really immediately show you is the exterior. So, I mean, art is subjective as all get out. So there you go. My opinion, at least of the pro model artwork is it's, it's, it's okay. That's, that's all I could say about that. Let's move on. Okay. So this shot up here, they want to show you basically the shots that they have for this upper flipper, your upper right flipper. I want to say has got one, two, three, three primary shots for sure that I can see right now that you can make the first one goes around orbits and feeds right back to the flipper again. So that's very similar to a lot of games, a lot of games. Um, we're talking like, you know, getaway and, you know, I mean, that's, that's a very reminiscent loop thing around for like, you know, a lot of Steve Ritchie games. So that, and when I see that type of thing, I always think of Steve Ritchie. So that's just me personally. So then your next shot that you've got, so you have this entryway that feeds the guard tower that goes right back to the wire form to the left flipper. You have this stand up target and you have the orbit. And then you have the Newton ball right here that we'll go over later. So we're going to go forward again. Like I said, feeds the guard tower, goes right back to the left flipper. Now here we have the Newton ball mechanism. So if you're not familiar with Newton balls, these go back to many, many games and everything. You've seen them uh, in a number of games, like just for instance, Tales of the Arabian Night has a couple of them. Um, but it's essentially, it's a pinball with a rod that goes in to the play field. And whenever you hit that, it gives enough force to basically kinetic force to hit the ball that's behind it and it's got a free roaming mech that just spins around from one side to the other this kind of is real reminiscent to the black knight flail and so when you hit this bam spins the jeep around bam and then it rests there in that new location so and it shows you right here another shot of it that you can hit with the upper flipper to spin it right back around to the other side so here's something that I don't think anybody's going to catch, but I'm going to catch it. For what I can see so far, I don't see any kind of deterrence that they can do to basically keep this from happening. They may have to switch to a different kind of hardware or it's going to happen so like it's not going to happen very often. But here's something to take note of is that you have a, I'm sure I'm hoping you can see this on the screen right here, but you have bare hardware with no protection like rubber or anything like that, but you have a screw and nut right here, completely open for hitting. So then you have your pop bumper that could easily project it hitting that directly. And that's gonna damage your ball. I mean, you don't like your pinballs hitting something other than at least a pinball <laughs> or something with cushion. Um, with a blunt object like a screw or a bolt, that's going to cause nicks in your pinballs and that's going to tear into your play field. So that's something stern. If you're watching this, um, you may want to do something about that. Just a heads up, uh, from what I can see, I don't see any kind of protection to keep that from happening, but that is something to take note of guys. So your right ramp feeds directly into a turnaround loop wire form and right back to your right flipper. So it's an immediate turnaround. So it's just a real quick turnaround. It's real nice and smooth. 
your left ramp goes behind the T-Rex's head and feeds into the wire form and feeds right back to your left flipper. Now here's a multiple shot where one goes up your left ramp that's going to feed the wire form and then one going into the pops which are located in the upper right of the play field. And that's going to bounce around and do its thing. So here we have now the premium model. So this is where we start to pinpoint out what you're going to get in your premium versus your pro. So already I like the premium artwork better. This is much more um, Jurassic Park like than the pro where it's, I don't know, maybe it's the colors used in this. It just seems much darker and that may just be a personal preference to me. I like the darker graphical on this. And then you have the raptor, or hell, what I believe to be a raptor. I could be wrong. Don't trust me when it comes to dinosaurs. Evidently, I don't know Jack. All right, so here's another look at the display right there. So I'm right. Uh, you have what looks to be the island. And I'm guessing each of these destinations on the map is going to be a mode. So there's something right there. Let's go back to that artwork in the back glass. Yeah, I like the premium artwork better. And so the first thing, obviously, that everyone's going to notice is that the premium has the T-Rex head actually oscillating. So it's going left and right, and it does even more than that. So this thing moves around and shakes its head. Opens its mouth. Let me go back to that real quick. I'm trying to see if that is a... Okay, so it's, it's an optic sensor. Okay. At least that's what I believe it to be. Uh, that is an optic sensor that's going to be detecting whether or not the ball is inside the T-Rex's head. Uh, so we'll move on. So you can feed the T-Rex's head. It's kind of like the opposite of the monsters where the staircase would open up and you can feed Spike. Basically, this is where something lowers down on top of the staircase and you can feed this version of Spike. I mean, seriously, look at that. Does that really look like a T-Rex from here? Come on. So, one of the options that this thing can do, evidently, it can throw a fit, and they really show you that this T-Rex can project the ball, and it looks like... I mean, you can even see how it just, like, hits that wire form the way it does, and then it slams down onto the where the pop area is at, the play field. Something also to take note about that is that that's going to cause wear on your play field. It hitting the play field the way it does, but then that's the reason why they have it on a premium, is because it's not going to get as many plays as location pins, obviously, and the pros are designed to be on location. That is what they are there for, and that's why there's less mechanisms because it's less maintenance. So, that being said, just something else to think about is that ball falling about at least, what, five or six inches? And you saw how it hit the wire form. It caused the wire form to do what it did. Imagine it hitting the wood. So, think about that. So, something else to note is this right here. Everything's above the play field. I don't think we have any subways any tunnels or anything to go underneath the wood. Everything's above the play field in this game, so that's something to take note of. So you have your um, 180 right back, and this is kind of cool. It feeds that helicopter blade, and it causes the helicopter blade to spin as it feeds back to um, your right flipper. Something else to note on your premium is that this Raptor is not plastic. Oh, it's plastic, but it's not just a piece of plastic with a picture on it. This is an actual Raptor toy. And when you hit it, it moves. So, that's something that's not on the Pro. Something else that's not on the Pro is this right here that just locked in the ball. A motorized raising target. So, that's going to keep your ball locked in a place that is not on your Pro. Something else to take note of that is on your premium and not your pro is further up. Right here is a up post. 
So that's going to be another way for the game to lock your balls for certain features. So something else to take note of on that. Let's see here. So here's one of those up posts I'm talking about. This feeds onto your left flipper. Again, I don't really know what these up posts um, do besides prepare you for a ball like right here. It looks like it rests, prepares you like, hey, you're fixing to have to make a shot. Probably something important. And then right here again, it shows you that the Raptor can catch a ball when you shoot it up there and then it can drop it onto the wire form and that'll feed back to your left flipper now. And that is essentially the primary differences right there that I can see immediately is between the pro and the premium. So going over it one more time, just besides showing the differences, if I have any kind of concerns that I want to highlight or things to think about or complaints and going over the play field the artwork is okay um evidently there was not much i guess licensing available for the actors you know basically what they look like the only actual actor that's got his likeness on here is the actor wayne knight that played Dennis Nedry in the movie and he is above I'm not sure if they're going to show you on this picture we'll go into the actual pictures on Stern's website so yeah here we have there's Dennis Nedry right there or you know Wayne Knight but the, the, the character Dennis Nedry is the only person that I have seen on this game that it was a character in the movie and something I'm not sure they got a better image of him but <laughs> I think a really good funny thing that they could have done is not only include him in here, but give him the sausage fingers. <laughs> and those of you with the Jurassic Park game from Data East or know about this is that on his his hands are probably one of the worst drawn hands for Data East games and or pinball in general. They call it sausage fingers, and his fingers are just really short and nubby. Um, I'll see if I can find a picture and show it to you right here. But I think that they could have incorporated that just a little bit where you could see sausage fingers. That may be a pro or con to certain people, but I think that would have been a, a major homage to the uh, old school Data East Jurassic Park. That would have been kind of funny. So something else that I, I don't like is the fact that they couldn't get the licensing to the Jeep for Jurassic Park. Really? I mean... They they went with this? I mean, that's crazy that they couldn't get, I guess because it was a Jeep Cherokee. Is that I think that's what that model was in the first one. And who knows what Jeep wanted to have their likeness on a game. But, damn it, they could have got something a little closer to resemble the actual Jurassic Park, you know, Jeep. Or the van or the vehicle that they used for that. That would have been, I don't know, that just would have been an extra thumbs up. Something else to note, now that I see that, is that um, I want to say they're showing this off as the Pro, but this one's got the the pop caps, uh, the pop bumper caps actually have a um, the Mosquito. Huh. I wonder if that's a mistake here. Let me see here, because I thought for sure that they were saying the Pro didn't have the Mosquito on the pop bumpers. Let me see here. So, the mosquitoes are on the pop bumpers for the Pro. And then when the Premium gets here, the Premium only has just regular old see-through pop bumper caps? Really? Okay. You would think it'd be the other way around, uh, but okay, so there's that. So just to make sure I'm not lying to you, I have the matrix pulled up right here that shows you the major differences in what you will and will not be getting on the Pro versus the Premium. Uh, I want to say the Premium is pretty damn much the same thing as a limited edition, only you're not getting all the fancy schmancy limited edition stuff autographed signed plated shaker motor the powder coating and stuff like that um that's not for everyone that's for the hardcore fanatics that want to be in that limited edition range otherwise what you're losing if you get the pro is the animatronic 
T-Rex. Uh, you're going to be losing the motorized up and down target, which I specified in the Raptor cage. You will also be losing the helicopter spinning blades over there next to the right end lane. You will be losing where your four your fourth up post. You're going to be losing one of your up posts. You're still going to have three up posts, evidently on the premium, but you're not going to have the Raptor pin up posts. Okay, so here here is a question here. Why is it showing me here that Mosquito and, and Amber Pop Bumper Caps is unchecked for the probe, but it's checked on the premium and LE? Interesting, Stern. So your video, you show Mosquitoes on your Pop Bumpers for the Pro, but not for your premium. Just something to note. All right, and I want to say that's pretty much what you're not going to be getting versus a premium. So it's time for my final thoughts and how I feel about this game and my opinions. And I believe that this game is going to do extremely well. Location, home buyers, all that. You've got an IP that resonates with a lot of people, especially those of us that watched the movie back in the day. The, the downside I see about this is the fact that it doesn't look like it's a lot of assets from the actual movie from what I've seen so far. So, but that aside, I still think it's going to do well. When it comes to what you're getting on the pro versus what you're getting on the premium, once again, they have a game price that's something that I don't feel what you're not getting on the pro is worth the $1,500 price difference. I don't see it. You, you're, you're Okay, so you have a, a T-Rex that moves around. Don't get me wrong. The T-Rex moving around and eating the ball, shooting the ball out. That's cool as hell. I'm not saying it's not a cool mech. It's obviously a cool mech. You've got that. You're missing the fourth up post and the Raptor above the Raptor cage, essentially. And I think that and the spinning helicopter blade, that's a little flare, whoop de doo But I don't see that as a $1,500 price difference from what you're not getting. I'm sorry. My opinion. Hate what you want. I don't agree with that. That aside... Pricing is set aside, you have the fact that I think this will be one of the most heavily modded games to date. I mean, we've already gotten video images revealed showing you a puller that has the mosquito inside of the amber that you can have as your puller knob, and that's already cool as hell. And I guarantee you that eventually someone's going to have the actual Jurassic Park looking Jeep that you could probably replace the one that they had that game on with. They're going to have so many cool things that I cannot wait to see what you mod developers out there are going to come up with for this game. So I'm, for me, uh, once again, pro may be the way to go if you want to save your money. That's only if you want to save your money. Not that you're going to be, you know, missing out a huge deal by getting the pro because like I said you're going to be able to mod the hell out of this game and you can make it look like a premium aside from missing the moving around T-Rex head back there. The game looks hella fun. It looks like there's plenty of shots to make. Uh, this game I, I want to say that it's going to be a game that you're just going to enjoy playing. It's just going to be fun while you're playing it. it uh, versus a game like let's say Black Knight where you're playing it and you're on your toes just it's going to be like a like anxiety attack playing Black Knight versus this one where it's going to be a hangback, have a good time, and it's just going to be a real blast to play. So that's something that I'm looking forward to playing is definitely Jurassic Park, obviously. And that's something else. Let's We can do a quick little browse to see what everybody else thinks. So as of right now, the Jurassic Park video on YouTube has got 7,700 views, uh, and it's got 192 upvotes versus only six downvotes. Let me make 193 for upvotes. And so, yeah, that's, I think that's a good sign for you starting at least on YouTube. And if I peruse through Pinside, yeah, I'd say over 90% is positive when it comes to people 
and their opinions towards this game. So, Stern, it looks like you've done good. Um, what we have coming up next for this game is the stream with Jack Danger. We'll be streaming this more than likely from the Stern factory with the designer, artist, sound. Basically, the creative team for this game will be on the video, obviously, talking and showing you the ins and outs of more than likely a premium edition, possibly even an LE. I don't think they're going to just have a pro there. At least that's not what they did with Black Knight. They had a pro and an LE. So bring it on. Another thing I want to say to you, Stern, is that during your stream, or actually starting now all the way up into your stream, I would highly recommend whomever is going to be playing this game, start playing it now. Get good at it. Those of us that watch this and watch the stream want to watch people that are good at pinball, that are good at the game. It just makes it a little bit more enjoyable. And I know I'm sounding like a prick when I say that, but it'd be the same way as anybody with any kind of product showing I'm not, someone's not going to show off a brand new, I don't know, Ford Taurus. Ford's not going to have a crappy driver bumping into stuff as they're driving around. No, they're going to have a professional driver playing it. So it's a good thing that you've got at least Jack Danger there. I'm sure he's already got his plays on there. He's going to have even more. So at least he's going to be there to be able to show us the basically the full mechanics and workings of this game. So... Hopefully everyone's got a good chance to play the game and get good at it to really show us the full potential of what this game can do. And that's going to wrap up this video, guys. Uh, if you like what you've seen, please give me that thumbs up. And if you haven't already, do not forget to hit that subscribe button down below. That way you can be notified of whenever I upload something for your viewing pleasure. Until next time, peace out.